Um, I'm Evie Hudak, former state senator, and um, I'm here speaking on behalf of Colorado PTA. Um, as you've heard from um, the speaker from Jeffco PTA, we're very concerned about the uh, rise in youth suicide and uh, um, also uh, a lot of behavioral health issues that our schools and um, child care facilities are dealing with. Um, so I would like to encourage the task force to support and collaborate with a couple of bills that are going through the process right now. Um, the first one is House Bill 1006, which was introduced from the Early Childhood and School Readiness Legislative Commission. And this bill directs the Department of Human Services to design, implement, and operate a statewide program of early childhood mental health consultation. The purpose of the program is to support mental health care across the state in a variety of early childhood settings and practices. <clears throat> Specifically, the program aims to increase the number of trained early childhood mental health consultants for on-site consultations and utilize them through these visits to support a variety of early childhood settings and practices from birth through age eight. The bill also requires the Department of Human Services to actively collect data and make regular reports to the Joint Budget Committee. Um, CDHS is directed to collaborate with healthcare policy and financing to explore additional funding options for the program. PTA is also supporting Senate Bill 1, Expand Behavioral Health Training for K-12 Educators. This bill is from the School Safety Committee. This bill requires the Department of Education to provide a Train the Trainers program designed to improve school culture, promote youth behavioral and mental health, and prepare attendees to teach a course to train educators in youth behavioral and mental health. The program will be available to all employees of school districts that participate. PTA believes that this program is vital as educators are often on the front line dealing with youth who have behavioral problems. And they often lack training to deal with the serious problems that cause students to act out, be suicidal, and otherwise be unable to focus on academics. There has been a severe reduction in the number of day treatment and residential treatment facilities, which puts more pressure on schools and educators to deal with um, students in need. Um, we believe that bills like the two I mentioned will help prevent youth suicide by approaching the problem in, in early life, and it will help stem the tide, the rising tide of youth suicide. Thank you. Thank you.